Linear equations and systems by graphing, question number 10. Clearing fractions in an equation. Rewrite the equation below so that it does not have fractions. 3 over 4x plus 3 equals 2 over 5. Do not use decimals in your answers. Okay, so when we have a fraction, we're going to look at this number and this number. Those are the denominators. And we're trying to find a common denominator. We're going to multiply those together. 4 times 5 equals 20. We're going to use 20 to get rid of those fractions. So we're going to take our whole equation and multiply it by 20. I'm going to rewrite it down here. 20 times 3 fourths x plus 3 equals 2 over 5. So next I'm going to distribute that 20. That means I have to multiply each term by 20. This term and this term and this term. Okay? So I have 20 times 3 fourths x plus 20 times 3 equals 20 times 2 fifths. So when I have a whole number, it's just like I have a fraction but divided by 1. So I'm going to multiply these two fractions by multiplying the tops together to 20 times 3 and then dividing by 4 and it's still multiplied by x. 20 times 3 is 60. 60 divided by 4 is 15x. Okay, so this is what I'm putting into my calculator. 20 times 3 divide by 4 to get 15. These two are whole numbers, so I'm going to say 20 times 3 up, and that's 60. This next one, I'm going to use it like a fraction. 20 times 2 over 5 times 1, which is 5. 20 times 2 is 40. 40 divided by 5 is 8. Now instead of having this that had two fractions in it. Now I have a bigger version of the same equation. 50x plus 60 equals 8. So they're still equal to each other, but now I have no fractions. That's why I multiplied by 20, so I could get rid of all the fractions. Now I just need to solve for x. So I'm going to move this number and combine it with this whole number. And then I get 15x, this 60 minus 60 makes 0, so I'm not going to write that down again. And then 8 minus 60 is minus 52. Alright, so the next step, I have to move it up again, 15x equals minus 52. Now I'm going to divide by this 15. I want to get x by itself, so I'm going to undo the multiply 15 by dividing by 15. I'm leaving the x over here. I want this x to stay over here. Now I have negative 52 divided by 15. I'm trying to think if that can simplify any more. 52 can be divided by 2, but 15 can't. Can 52 be divided by 3? No. Hmm. I think that might be as simplified as I can get it, so I'm just going to leave it as negative 52 over 15. So when, I'm, when it says do not use decimals up here, it said don't use decimals in your answer. I'm going to leave it as a fraction down here, a big fraction. 